Hi, my name is Nathania, um, and today we're going to go through a desk relief flow. Um, you're going to need a chair and potentially a pillow um, if you'd like for the beginning Shavasana and ending. Uh, I hope this practice um, gives you some relief for those long days on the computer or in a sitting position. So I hope you enjoy. Let's get to it. So we're going to start again, like I said, if you'd like to start with a pillow. Uh, you can place your pillow just underneath the knees. And then just gently start to come all the way down. And I'll have you just place your arms just outside the body with palms facing up. And really we just take these first couple moments to really just connect with our bodies, our mind and our breath. Really just letting our body settle into the mat. Let all the muscles of the face relax. Maybe let the shoulders sink back a little bit further. And see if you can connect to like a three-dimensional breath. So when I say that, I mean really thinking about the breath, feeling it in your back body, your side body, and your front body. out through the nose. Maybe setting an intention for your practice today. And it could be just as simple as being mindful, being present. And just know that it's completely normal for your mind to wander. And simply we just observe that we've wandered and we come back to that intention. If you're using a pillow, we're going to slowly just lift that pillow and push it off to the side. And extend the legs out. And on the next exhale, let's bring our right knee into the chest. We can interlace our fingers just onto the shin. And just gently draw your right knee a little bit closer. Gently release, maybe just guide your leg in a small circular motion so the knee stays bent and you can have your hands on either side of your thigh and just move in small rotations, maybe move in the opposite direction. Good, bring it back to the chest and then gently release. We're going to switch to the other side. So left knee draws in and just gently pulling it in towards the chest, taking nice long, deep, even breaths. that right side completely relax. And then keeping your hands just on either side of the thigh, you can kind of help guide your leg in small circular motions. Move in the opposite direction. Good, bring both knees into the chest. And maybe rock side to side and we're going to place our feet onto the mat so right now i'll get you to take your arms just about shoulder height 
we're gonna just have palms facing down. Uh, you might wanna have them just maybe below shoulder height. So as we start to find a bit of rotation in the lower spine, you can adjust as we move. So keeping our feet together, knees together, we're gonna shift the legs over to the right. And you might notice the left shoulder comes off the mat, that's fine. Come back to center, we shift over to the left. And just you're gonna move nice and slow back and forth. Let's do one more on each side. And let's come back to center. We're gonna roll over onto our side into fetal position, maybe taking a couple breaths here. gently start to press yourself up. We're going to come into child's pose. So we're going to start with the knees fairly wide. If you choose, you can also have the knees together. Big toes touching. We're going to sink our sit bones down and then our arms are both shoulder width apart. Spread the fingers nice and wide and then gently just press the forehead onto the mat. And just nice big breaths, especially you think about breathing into your back body. So feeling that expansion through the rib cage, the side body, in between the shoulder blades. And just sinking the sit bones down, let me gravity take them. Inhale, look up. We're gonna walk our hands over to the left side. Again, this might look different for each of us. Just getting a nice uh, side stretch onto the right side. Again, hands are still nice, spread nice and wide. Rest the forehead down. You're gonna feel this a little bit again into that right side. And even think about breathing into that right side. You can usually gain a little bit more. You'll feel that stretch maybe into the rib cage further, maybe even to the side of our right hip into our lat. Inhale, look up. We're gonna walk those hands over to the right side again. This angle might look different for each of us and then sinking down. Let's come back to center. We're gonna come up onto uh, all fours. Knees just underneath the hips. And we're gonna roll through the spine. So coming from cat to cow, really pay attention, almost like you're waving through the spine like a wave of water. So that finding that articulation through each vertebrae. So starting from the base of the spine, the wrists are underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. Start to tilt the pelvis, so draw that tailbone under and think about one vertebrae as it starts to come up and around the spine as we come into cat. And then rippling, reversing that all the way down so we feel the drop of the belly. Nice proud chest, opening up the front body and gaze forward. You're gonna repeat this two more times. and slow. Once you're done that third one, come back into tabletop. And then we're gonna sink back down into child's pose and we're gonna open up our mid-back, so our T-spine. So by coming into this position, so legs again are nice and wide, almost like we were coming to child's, but we're gonna have our hands a little bit closer here, so we're in this kind of position. We're gonna open the spread the fingers nice and wide, and we're gonna start with the left hand planted into the floor. So I want you to press into the floor so we feel a bit of an engagement through the left shoulder. We're taking our right hand behind the neck. I want you to inhale, open up as far as you can. You can take your gaze with you and then come across the body and tap to the other side. So doing this two more times, really opening up that 
T-spine area. Across the body, we tap, we come over to the right side. So right hand plants onto the mat. We're gonna press into the mat, take the left hand this time behind the neck. We're gonna inhale, open up. And even taking a breath here, so if you wanna take a little bit longer, that's up to you. And come across, so three repetitions. Inhale as you open up and rotate. And then exhale as you come across. Come back into your tabletop. We're gonna take our right hand, inhale, reach it up to the sky, and exhale, come in between the left hand, left knee, drop the right shoulder, rest the head onto the mat. From here, the left hand is just here for support. Really think about reaching a little bit further as you can with the right fingers. Nice deep breaths. If you're comfortable here, stay. If you want to go a little bit further, maybe start to press the back of the right hand into the floor. So you're going to feel a bit of that increase into the rotation. A couple nice breaths. And then inhale, we're going to open all the way up. And exhale, come back to that tabletop. We're going to take that to the other side. So left hand comes up, exhale, we're going to sweep underneath the right hand, right knee, let the right side right cheek come down, again trying to keep the spine nice and long throughout the whole movement. See if you can reach the fingertips a little bit further, and again you can either stay there or maybe add a little bit of activation so you're going to press the top of your left hand into the floor. Take one more breath. And then on the next inhale, open right up. And exhale, take it back to our tabletop. From here, we're gonna curl the toes under and slowly come into your down dog position. So take your time here, back and forth. Good, we can come with fairly soft knees. Good, and draw the chest towards your thighs, actively press the hands into the mat. So you're gonna feel some of that engagement into the side body. And let's start to paddle out the feet one by one. We're going to keep the left knee bent, push through the right heel, and then just play with where you're putting pressure into the big toe ball or baby toe ball. So even switching it back and forth so you can kind of feel different fibers getting stretched as you do that. And switch to the other side. Knees look forward, take a big step to the top of our mat. Legs are about hip distance apart. Soften the knees and come into a ragdoll. So grab opposite hand, opposite elbow, and just gonna sway side to side. Let your spine get really heavy, relax the neck. Relax the arms, and then slowly start to come all the way up. Good. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, come all the way down, head to knee. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, head to knee. And inhale, sweep right back up. 
and exhale, hands to heart center. Good, inhale, reach up. Exhale, head to knee. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, head to knee, step back into a full plank. Good, send the hips up into down dog. Slowly bend the knees, come all the way back down. And we're gonna back ourselves up and come into a kneeling position. So we're gonna just further do some um, wrist warm-ups, forearm warm-ups. These are really great when we're working at our desk. I tend to put these in a lot of my classes. Um, I find them super, super helpful. So let's start just first by opening and closing the hands really, really quick. Almost like you're splashing water at me. Good, and then to the sky. Kind of shake it off. You're gonna make fists and big, big circles both directions. Good, you're gonna make those fists, thumbs are out. I want you to have, have it so that the fingernails are tucked in, so we can't see our fingernails. We're gonna bring our knuckles together, elbows are bent. And then from here, come down to your mat, and we're gonna work towards straight. So some of us might not get straight, that's perfectly fine. We just wanna find that little bit of a stretch or a lot of stretch uh, into the forearms. So just back and forth, do a couple. Good, now we're gonna hold. Good, and release, shake it off. We're gonna now place the palms onto the mat. Fingers are pointing towards our thighs. We're gonna, again, control that stretch. You can kind of lean yourself forward and then when you're ready, kind of pull back until you feel that first little bit of a stretch and then release. And just move back and forth a couple times. And then hold. Good. And relax, shake off. We're gonna place our uh, hands, our fingertips, sorry, onto our shoulders. I want you to think about drawing the elbows together in front of you, coming up and trying to make as big of a rotation as you can. Nice and slow here. And also just be mindful, it's very easy when we're trying to sometimes move through shoulders, we'll kind of break up the spine. So keep the ribs down and then keep your uh, neck aligned. So again, another thing that you might do is put your head forward. So really just think about moving directly right from the shoulders. Maybe switch directions. Kind of shake it off. Okay. Staying in a kneeling position, we're gonna lunge our right leg out beside us. So toe position, for some of us, it might be more comfortable to have the toes on a 45 degree angle. We're gonna hinge from the hips and our hands are gonna come down to the floor. Um, if you have blocks, sometimes it is nice to have a bit of height here, so feel free to use those if you have them. So hinging from the hips, we're gonna come down. I like to have the, my toes of the back foot curled under. I'm just gonna rock back and forth. And I'm also, you can continue doing this. I'm just gonna shift so you guys can see a different angle. But also just watching that you're not rounding through the spine or tilting the pelvis. So we want a nice neutral spine here. Nice proud chest, just nice and slow rocking back and forth. Good, and then we're gonna hold. And relax, bring the right leg in and we're gonna switch to the other side. So left leg comes out. Again, adjusting the toe position that you're comfortable with. We're gonna do that nice big hip hinge, hands come to the floor, and we're gonna rock back and forth. Good, we'll do one more and then we'll hold. Just a nice even breath. So the release, bring the opposite leg in. So left leg comes in. We're gonna come back into our tabletop. 
good. Curl the toes under, back into down dog. Pedal out again. Good, we're gonna take the right leg lifted all the way up, bend the knee and open the hips to the side. See if you can stay equal in both hands. So it's very easy to kind of lean into one hand more than the other. See if you can just evenly distribute that weight. And then with the knee, think about making a big rotation. So as if you're trying to make a huge circle, we're trying to really warm up that hip capsule. Nice and slow. Switch directions. Good. We're gonna swap to the other side, left leg comes up. Bend the knee, open the hips to the side. Good, and then start with those huge, big circles. Think about just trying to draw a, as big of a circle as you can. And switch. Should feel your bum get a little bit hot here. Good, come back into down dog. Good, bend the knees, look forward, take a big step to the top of our mat. We're gonna end up in our ragdoll again. Just nice and easy, relax the spine. And slowly start to come all the way up. Okay, just coming into your mountain pose. So just bringing the feet together, we're doing the palms out, big toes touching, have about an inch apart into the heels, nice and tall. Good, relax. So now we're gonna grab a hold of our chair. So just making sure the chair um, is secure. So if we're putting one foot on, if you know that um, balance is something that you're still working on, um, it might be great to put uh, yourself closer to the wall so you can use the walls for some support. Um, but also just making sure the chair uh, doesn't slide. Okay. So starting off, we're gonna place the left foot onto the mat or onto the chair. And again, this distance from the balancing or the standing leg to the chair might look a little bit different for each of us. So you might have to play a little bit with position. You're spreading and opening the toes of the standing leg. And I want you to keep a really upright chest. You can just for now place your hands onto the hips. And this is kind of like a modified um, low lunge. And so I want you to start to draw the hips towards the chair. So you're gonna get a bit of a stretch into the right side. And we're just gonna hold this, and again, just nice even breath. Staying nice and upright, squared off to your chair. Good, you can back off, we'll do that one more time, lean in towards the chair. Get a little bit taller. And relax, we'll swap to the other side. So this time we're planting through the left foot, right foot comes, so there's again about a stacked knee on top of ankle. Again, this might uh, come a little bit more forward. Keep the legs about hip distance apart so our base of support is secure. Spread the toes of the standing leg. And when you're ready, get nice and tall and then start to shift the hips forward towards the chair. Okay, we're gonna back off. We'll do that one more time. Again, leaning towards the chair, still staying super upright. So for a lot of these, I would say, even just taking a couple of these and kind of breaking them up maybe, and putting them out throughout the day, taking a couple moments just to stretch, get out of your desk is super, super helpful. It goes a long way. Um, sometimes you just get in the habit of just sitting and not getting up for hours on end. So uh, even if you take like a minute every hour just to do maybe two stretches, would be super helpful. 
Good, and relax. From here, we're gonna take into a straight leg position. So we're still gonna use the chair. We're gonna now place the left leg straight onto the chair. Again, making sure that the legs are about hip distance apart. I want you to draw your toes, so your left toes, draw them towards your knee. Hands onto the hip. I want you to just lean forward here. And so you're gonna feel that sensation to the back of the leg. If you need to soften the knee, just soften the knee just slightly. You can get a little bit further and even getting a bit more into the belly of the hamstring. Keep spreading the toes and maybe try to draw them a little bit further towards the knee. And we're gonna add some rotation here and a bit of movement. So from here, I want you to inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, we're gonna rotate towards the left. Inhale, get nice and tall to center. And exhale, rotate towards the left. Good, one more, nice and slow. Hold that last one. Keep drawing the toes up towards your knee. Good, inhale back to center. Good, take the hands back to your waist. One more, lean forward again, drawing those toes towards your knee. Draw that chest. Again, nice and open, but drawing it forward. And then slowly relax, and we're gonna switch to the other side. Right leg foot, or right foot comes up onto the chair. Legs hip distance apart. Draw those toes as much as you can towards your knee. Spread them even. And then hinging from the hip, draw the chest forward. And just stop when you start to just feel that sensation of a stretch. And maybe just a soft micro bend into the knee. Draw your chest maybe further. And just a nice even breath. We're gonna add some rotation here. So we're gonna inhale and get nice and tall. And then exhale, we're gonna stay tall and we're gonna rotate towards the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, rotate towards the right. Good, one more time. This one we're gonna hold. Inhale all the way up and exhale, release the arms. Hands onto the hips. One more time, we're gonna draw our chest forward. Good, and relax. Good, kind of pedal the feet out a little bit. And I'm just gonna flip the chair around. So we can either use a desk um, or you can use the back of your chair. Again, just making sure it's nice and secure. So from here, you can place your hands around uh, shoulder width apart. Again, based on the chair, it might be a bit more narrow. Um, so adjust to a table if uh, you're getting any close angle pain on the shoulder. So we're having the legs a little bit further apart. And so we want it so that their arms are straight. And so we're gonna work towards almost like this modified plank position and then shifting and hinging from the hip and just gently drawing the chest down. Inhale, come up, hips come forward. And exhale, shift. And just letting gravity take the chest down. Inhale. And release. Inhale, we can shift our hands, thumbs up. One more. Good, inhale all the way up. We're gonna place the chair just off to the side for a moment. 
I'm just doing, coming into a runner's lunge. So we're gonna take the left leg back, or sorry, sorry, right leg. So take your right leg, step it back. And we're gonna go down to the ball of our foot. And so we're just gonna go into some nice uh, knee drops. So nice and slow, just getting again, a little bit of activation here. We're gonna slowly drop that back knee and it might not go all the way to the ground, that's not the point. Just a little bit so we can get a little bit of that blood flow going. Okay, we're gonna do about three more. Good, take a step forward, left leg back. Good, and drop that back knee. Take a big step back to that right side. One more and drop the right knee. Doing about five reps on each side. Last one, left side. back to center. So we're going to grab a hold of the chair. And take a seat. And we're just going to do a few things. Um, again, taking uh, some of this components of the seated positions, even just doing some of these stretches throughout the day would be really, really helpful. So first we're going to start off. Um, so my chair is a little bit higher. So if I sit right back, my feet aren't exactly super planted. Um, so if that's the case, I would just shift your weight a little bit so that your feet can be uh, nice and secure onto the floor. We're going to start with some neck rolls. So for now, just place the hands onto your thighs and I want you to just gently start to draw the chin down. Tracing the chin along the collarbone over to the right shoulder. Take your eyes to the floor beside you and then start to shift your eyes all the way up the right side wall. Start to look at the ceiling, so then the neck is coming into extension. Scanning over to that left side wall. Eyes come all the way down to the floor. Our chin is now closer to the left shoulder. We look beside us. And then we trace that chin along the collarbone back to center. So do one more in this direction. Nice and slow. Back to center, we're going to now move in the opposite direction. So chin comes down, trace the chin along the collarbone to the left side. You're going to look beside you, scan the wall, coming up that left side, up to the ceiling. Scanning across, over to the right side. And then slowly trace back to center. Good. Taking your arms around your uh, chest, so hands can just gently be, be on your shoulders. I want you to slowly draw the chin down and kind of roll. So we're almost like in that cat position. So we're kind of pushing the spine out, rounding through the back. And, and then I want you to rotate to the right, drop your right shoulder towards your hip. So then you end up almost like shifting uh, a bit more forward here. And then we come into extension. We drop the left shoulder down and then we start to come into flexion. So we start to round through the spine and come to center. Inhale, come all the way up. We're gonna reverse that. Chin comes down, we round through the spine. We rotate to the left this time, drop the left shoulder. It opens up the right shoulder and start to extend the spine. So we're opening up. We drop the right shoulder down and then we slowly come back to center and come all the way up. Hands come back uh, across our body and we're gonna inhale, get nice and tall and we're gonna do a nice active rotation. So I want you to rotate towards the right side. Inhale to center, exhale to the left. Back to center, back to the right. 
and to center and to left. Good, this time we're gonna use our hands for a bit of support. So we can take our left hand onto the right thigh. We can place our hand either onto the back of the chair or lower. Inhale, get nice and tall and rotate towards the right. And just stay here for a breath or two. And inhale to center. Good, right hand, left thigh. Left hand comes behind you, grabbing the hold with the chair back or to the side. Inhale, get nice and tall, and then exhale, rotate towards that left. Good, inhale to center. Good. We're gonna open the legs a little bit further. And so you can kind of, Either uh, pick one position as we as we move through this and I'll cue it, um, or you can kind of move down the thigh. So we're just adding a bit of flexion and more rotation of the spine. So we're gonna start with our right hand onto our inner thigh, closer to maybe our knee. I want you to inhale here and then exhale, open up that left hand and find some nice range here. Nice big rotation. Inhale back to center. Maybe we shift the hand a little bit uh, down the thigh onto maybe the shin. Kind of calf in or inhale, open up and twist. And back to center. One more, maybe down to the ankle. And open up. Good. Inhale back to center. We place the left hand onto the left thigh. Good. Nice big breath. Get nice and tall. And exhale, open up. Inhale to center. Come down mid shin if that's available to you and open up good and maybe coming down one more time good come all the way up awesome so from here we're going to take our chair and just place it off to the side good come to the top of our mat we're going to inhale reach the arms up Exhale all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, head to knee. Step back into a full plank. Okay, we're gonna drop down to our feet, or to our knees, and then slowly, I'm just gonna back myself up here, slowly start to come all the way down. Good. You're gonna come into Sphinx. So elbows just underneath the shoulders. Good. Legs about hip distance apart. Inhale, reach the chest forward. Good. Think about almost opening up nice broadness to the collarbone. Activate the legs. You'll feel the little caps just lift off the mat. Press the tops of the feet even further into the mat. Firm your glutes a little bit. Can you get a little bit more open through the chest? Slowly relax. Take the hands just beside the chest, elbows tight to the body. Peel all the way up. We're going to come into a cross-legged position. So from here, let's place the right hand onto the mat beside us. So this might be something too, if you have blocks, um, you might want to play with. So from here, let's inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, lean over towards the right side. Inhale to center, left hand plants down, inhale, right arm comes up nice and tall, exhale, lean over towards the left. Inhale to center, over to the other side. Inhale to center, left side. One more time each side. Back to center. We're going to interlace our fingers and kind of reach out, just turn around so you can see. So interlacing your fingers, I want you to reach 
the arms back behind you, opening up the chest. So keep reaching back, and then we're going to relax the arms. The fingers are going to stay interlaced. We're going to bring them over to the right hip. From here, I want you to look forward first, and then drop your right ear to the right shoulder. Inhale back to center. We'll swap to the other side, so left hands are we move the hand over to that left hip. We look forward first, and then draw the ear over to the left side. Inhale back to center. From here, we're going to, we're going to swap around. I'm going to swing around. We're going to come into this position here where the legs are about a 90 degree angle. Again, we'll be different for each of us. And same with hand position. We'll have the hands roughly at a 45 degree angle. And then you might need to adjust them closer or further back or soften the elbows if you need to. And from here, I want you just to slowly think about reaching your chest up. Even shift the gaze a little bit. So you're going to feel this probably into your chest and into the biceps, front of the shoulder. And just some nice big deep breaths. between the thighs and we're going to interlace our hands behind the left thigh which means we're going to lift the left foot off the mat. Gently start to draw your left thigh towards your chest and so you're going to feel a bit of that stretch and we're going to maybe if it's appropriate you're going to push your right elbow kind of into your right thigh and kind of see or feel a, a change of stretch so getting a little bit further into the hip and into the glutes and a good, nice, uh, piriformis stretch. And then slowly relax. We're gonna swap to the other side. So left leg crosses over the right. Our left hand comes in between the thighs. We interlace our fingers behind the right thigh and we draw towards our chest. Again, you can use your elbow to assist here on that left side. And also something to, um, to even imagine or try to picture is just keeping a neutral spine so there's a natural curve in the low back. It's very easy to kind of like compress and just press everything down into the mat. Um, and for some movements that's appropriate for this, try even just having a natural curve in the low back and then further pressing into your left thigh. Good, and slowly relax. And we're gonna take the legs a little bit further apart and just place the hands gently onto the floor, palms facing down, but a bit further from your body. And just swing, kind of windshield wiper the leg back and forth. So we're moving from internal to external rotation of the hip. Good. So let's bring the feet to about hip distance apart again. We're going to press the low back into the floor and press the hips up. Think about squeezing the bum and drawing that tub on towards the knees. Keep the rib cage down. Nice even breath. And slowly roll through the spine, come back. And this time we're going to bring the feet together 
Arms are gonna be just below shoulder height, palms facing down. And same as we did at the beginning of the class, just rolling the legs side to side. Okay, bring the feet in, draw the knees towards your chest, give yourself a big hug, squeeze up into a ball. And then we're gonna slowly extend the legs, coming into Shavasana. So if you want to use your pillow underneath the knees, feel free to do so. Gently close your eyes if you haven't done so already. And just some nice big yoga breaths. So feeling that belly, feel the expansion of the rib cage. Let yourself really soften into your mat. Keeping your eyes closed, you can slowly start to come into field position and then gently press yourself up coming into a seated cross legged. Sitting up nice and tall, we can gently just place our hands up to our knees. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. Good, inhale. And last one. Let's draw our hands to heart center. We'll slowly open our eyes. And we finish our practice by saying namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me and have a great day.